What we're doing, hopefully, is helping to experience a community in a new way. The Storytellers Project. We helped 1,500 people tell stories on 160 nights. <laughs> Storytelling really is like hearing from the heart of another person. And that's where the magic of our storytelling nights happen, is because when you open your heart and your ears to these stories, that's when community change can really take place. I love Mexican food. Chipotle gives me life. <laughs> Thanks. I'm a great daughter. Daughter of the Year Award. I need to go on Dr. Phil and tell the world about this. I had underwear that lasted me through college. <laughs> I was 19 years old, I was a kid, and I wasn't ready for that, and I threw up. One of the things I do love about storytelling, you know, you'll hear, you know, maybe a gay person come up and talk about an experience that maybe an African American has also experienced, and you'll be like, wow, that's really awesome that, you know, we have that in common, that commonality is really cool. This person is the lady who does my wax. What? Nothing could distract him from his dreams. Not even cute girls. At that moment, I felt something. And I don't know what it was, but it was, it was really scary. You get this intimate inside story about who someone is and what they've been through, and it is really relatable. It kind of makes me think about myself and my own experiences. The best part was it was non-fiction. You know, it's not like it was just made up stories. It was like, no, oh, this is someone's life. She got married and got a big house, and this was big for us broke folk. There wasn't a whole lot of diversity out there. You know, being deaf, gay, fat, and Mexican, I was the diversity there. <laughs> I'm still Laura, I'm an American now. Where you come from, what you do, who you are, like all of it is really integral in us being Americans. I want to live and I realized I was killing myself super slowly. You have to be willing to give up everything, to not cut corners if you want to succeed. They woke up a lot of emotions, sadness, I almost cried at one point, uh, I laughed a lot. So that was the beauty of it, it's like real life. It's like real America.